Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. And on the first day of this journey, I worked my way up from just a naked on the beach and laid the foundations of my very unique garage-based design, acquiring my first vehicle and beginning to roam the land around me. And as this story continues today, I aim to take my humble base and turn it into an armored solo fortress, using the power of vehicles in Rust to overcome all those around me. I hope you enjoy. Let's see if anything's going on with that old clan base nearby. Ah, those guys are all together. I heard the gunshots, I thought maybe I could do something. But nah. And now one of them's just roof camping. Definitely not a whole lot I can do here. Oh lord! Get out of here! I guess that's a free horse! Right, I'm gonna head the other way. There's nothing for me over here. It was still just wipe day on the server, and if I was gonna keep an edge over the groups around me, I would need to start pumping out metal and low grade faster. And for this, I needed a compound. However, I still lacked the blueprints like the refinery and the large furnace. And so I carried out a few quick scrap runs until I had enough. Oh, flashlight. That's actually exactly what I needed. I could see. Okay, not a bad run. Right, I should have enough scrap actually. Let's get all that in there. Okay, so starting off, we will get the large furnace and I'll get the refinery too. Nice. And then up here on the workbench level one, get myself the I gotta get that first and and that and there we go. High wall, got enough. Perfect. With all the necessary blueprints learned, I was one step closer to building my compound. Next up, I needed some low grade, not only to craft the refinery, but also to keep me going with meds. I grabbed my crude oil and drove to Outpost. All right, this is gonna this is gonna take a little while. And relax. You know what that'll do? I can't be bothered. <laughs> can't be bothered to wait any longer, man. I don't have all day. Where's my car? Oh, he's standing on top of it. If he doesn't want to try anything funny. All right, we got away. Man was trying to get me killed. Oh, I wish I could open the door from inside the car. Maybe I should try and set up motion detecting. That'd be kind of cool. Nice! Ooh. Does that guy have a gun? Is that it? Oh no! That guy just flopped! Oh, he has teammates. No, oh, dude! Oh, I almost fucked him up! With every bit of farming that I did, I wanted to keep up with upgrading my base. So I crafted a couple garage doors and made it a little bit stronger. Beautiful. I'm getting these doors down. Okay, right, let's get this whole chute upgraded to sheet metal. That way my entire core is uh, metal, which is cool. Might as well slide the double door back in here. It's an extra rocket. Ooh, saw shots. Right, got some ninja suits made. From my base, I heard a large fight break out at water treatment. I thought I'd try my luck and head over with a revolver. Oh, this could be a free kill. Should be out any second. Oh man, four hits and I whiffed. Go. 
kill. That's one dead. No. I'm gonna get shot in the back in a second. Another four hits on him, dude. I just gotta run. Oh, that's AK. That was good timing for me to move. This just got interesting. All oh, the rads, no. Ooh, got him. Was he AK? Oh, I just saw. Actually, I need that. I don't even have one. There's even a horse for me. Let's go, dude. I barely made it out with low health, no meds, and a horse. I headed straight for outpost to recycle and learn the semi-auto rifle there. What? There's no way. I just spent 400 scrap in the tech tree learning that. And there's just one sitting there in the research table. Bro, I've just been scammed, dude. Oh well, I made it home. And hey, got got a saw. Not a bad little loot run there. And just like that, I had my first tier 2 weapon of the wipe. I crafted up my own saw and headed out on a farming run. I wanted to use my car to keep me safe, so I repaired it up and I was ready to go. Let's go, go, go. Right, now where to farm for the nodes? Oh, there's a train on the tracks. <laughs> fuck. Oh no, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's scam. That'll do. That's most of the nodes in the area. I'm going home with that. Okay, well, I've got the metal to keep my furnaces running for a bit. Nice. I am going to need to farm some more wood soon. Sag. Oh, God. I need to work on my driving. I am <laughs> rubbish, man. It's the same guy from earlier. Nah, no, I don't think it was. Bro, can this bear go away? Just following me, man. Where's this guy's body? Ah. Eh, I'll take it. I was expecting a bit more, I won't lie. After the big farming run earlier, I had plenty of stone to upgrade some more of my base. It's always important to keep on top of expansion. You never want to get caught off guard with an online raid. Alright, so all I need to do is just add triangles on the second floor too. That way it's uh, going to be at least 8 rockets just to get to my second floor. And then here, I can actually just go with a roof. That could be nice. It'll look kind of cool too. Yeah, I like that, I like that. It's cute. Then get that upgraded on the front. There we go. Cute, I love it. Okay, this can be just a triangle airlock. And then, I guess that can just be walled off. Uh, actually... You know, I feel like I could just have this as a little bit of Dropbox storage or something. It might also work. Yeah, that'll be fine. The door down. Okay, now I actually have an airlock to my uh, garage. Alright, we'll get a couple more garage doors. You can never have too many. And then let's get this whole roof to sheet metal. Beautiful, get the rugs back on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this base is getting so tanky. Garage door there too. Beautiful. And that one there. Okay, and this can be my jump up to my roof access. My garage door in there. Oh, I don't know though. While I had originally thought of adding some roof access to my main base, I decided against it. I wanted to make this base as strong and tanky as possible, and being able to seal up the roof with an armoured ceiling was going to make it much, much stronger. Yeah, I think I made the right decision. Like, this thing is just going to be an absolute chunky boy. And as I'm sure many of you appreciate, it was time to do some box organization. Something that I put off for way too long. I know, I've taken my time to do this. But you better be happy now, I'm doing this for you guys, not for me. I will just get tools in there, I think. Very nice. Let's just be car parts, because I don't really need them there. Sheet. And we'll get that to sheet as well. Okay, just miscellaneous items in here. You know what? That flame turret actually works quite well. Load that up too. Oh, I'm running out of wood. Thanks to keeping my furnaces running the whole time I'd been on the server, I had a row of frags. I wanted to use some and upgrade my honeycomb to metal. This simple change increases the raid cost from the outside walls by an extra four rockets. Huh? How did I just upgrade the wrong foundation? I was looking straight at it, man. What the fuck? Oh yeah. Full sheet metal honeycomb. We high rolling now. I pity anyone that tries to raid me. After lots of farming, I felt like doing some PvP roams. I left base and headed towards Outpost, away from the safe haven that is my base, and towards the chaos of the mainland. Ooh, okay, I didn't get shot by Outpost. <laughs> this guy's so mad. Oh, I just gotta hide. Okay, 60 seconds is up, and he had nothing. That was, that was not worth the wait, man. Ooh, mini. No, oh, dude, what the fuck? Where was this satchel raid at? Is that it? Why are there so many nakeds around here? The hell? Oh no, I cannot use this saw uh, with that fucking hollow man. I'm, I'm taking that off. That is not it. I. Oh god. What the fuck? Oh no, the naked has a bow now. Where are they coming from? Is there another one? Oh, this was the raid. Bro, what the hell was that? <laughs> I sh definitely should have died there. Oh, this guy's gonna have farm for me. I might be getting greedy. Ooh, I will take it even more. Holy. Thank you. Absolutely full inventory, I made my way to the barn, recycled my components, and bought myself a horse. This way I could ride safely to outpost, buy up some wood, before riding home. I am so loaded. Right, let's learn 5-5. Five, five. Oh wait, no! 
Oh, pain. I already had it learned, man. What the? I'm such an idiot. Well, rest in peace, 125 scrap. Okay, 20 TC. That'll do. Let's go home. Oh, what? Okay, there goes everything. Wow. That, that really hurts, man. And with some of the worst timing possible, with my horse running out of stamina, at the exact moment a player with a Thompson happens to be right outside my base, I had lost my full inventory, all of the riches I'd gained from the fight. This was a tough loss, but it's important not to dwell on these things in Rust. Sometimes you just gotta pick yourself up and get back out there. I actually just feel annoyed about that. I feel robbed. That's how I feel. Oh, they got a Revy. Oh, they got- wait, is that three? What? They just pulled those out of their asses, man. I had been caught off guard by some new neighbors. I went over to check out their base and see what they had going on. Oh yeah, that's definitely their base, 100%. Always in need of more farm, I took my car and headed out with a pickaxe. Looking for every node I could. Oh god, such a bad driver. <laughs> home sweet home. Not a bad little farming run there. I had spotted two players up the cliff near my base. Likely the same players from earlier, but I wasn't sure. Where have these guys gone? I know they're up here. Come on. Where are they? Found them. That's gotta be the same guys from earlier, right? Unless they live there. Oh, they do live there. And I missed! Ah, I'm whiffing with the revolver today. I have really good positioning here. It's one dead. There we go. Gotta be both dead. Ow! I have to be so quick because they're going to come straight out of their base. I'm almost certain it's that base right in front of me. Ooh. Give me that. Right, i got to go. i got to go. Oh, God. Oh, they got saw. Oh, I didn't mean to place both. Oh, no. Oh, well. So I made it out. Wait. Bro! Huh? Die! These are definitely the other guys. Ooh. What the f- How am I alive? I think these guys must have died to my neighbors and then came back. And I've just cleaned up all of them. Oh man. If only I had more storage and I could carry all the clothes. It was clear that I had not one, but two sets of neighbors, both of whom were duos with similar levels of gear. This could get tricky. Oh well, it's a good start, killing both, uh, both sets of neighbors. Oh, no way, they didn't loot it. That's huge, I actually need these clothes so badly. I'm down bad on uh, attire. Beautiful, both bodies unlooted. Okay, yeah, he came back. I, I can't say I'm surprised. Oh, little shit. The rest of night time I spent organizing some more of my boxes. 
and when the sun finally came, I left my base to check for any body bags from the fight. Ooh. Well, that guy just stood up. <laughs> oh no, he was probably like, yeah, he stood up and just fucking flopped. Oh, bless him. Fuck me. What's this guy doing? <laughs> That's one dead man. Ooh, big rocket raid. Oh, this guy had everything. No way. Oh, these guys must be so annoyed. Once again, I had cleaned up a fight between my two neighbors and got away with all of the loot. It wouldn't be long before they caught on and started causing me some trouble. Look at all these nodes. You know what that'll do? That is a fair amount. I'm not gonna get too greedy. Okay, I'm gonna drop off the ore and then go to our post. With my base upgraded and everything I needed, I decided it was time to finally work on this compound. I grabbed some stone, took my car and headed to outpost to buy a bunch of wood. Alright, that should be plenty of high walls. Cowabunga mother... Ah, uh, never mind. Fucking ran into a tree. Bro, I'm so bad at driving what? Nice, get these loaded up. After making a home with the wood, I grabbed all the resources I would need to build my external gatehouse. Okay, I am ready. Oh, the, the one time I take my hand off my mouse and they're there. As expected, my neighbors had caught on to my tricks and decided to do the lowest thing and door camp. I lost my saw and the resources for the gatehouse, which was pretty frustrating. Luckily, I had just enough still in base to get the job done. I should have gone outside first to make sure I wasn't getting camped. That's the first time I've been uh, door camped or wiped though, which I guess is something. Managed to get away with it so far. Hopefully they don't, you know, keep coming back. It's just a one-time thing. Fingers crossed. Get all of that upgraded to stone. Go in three windows. Perfect. I need a key lock, get glass windows on the front, embrasures on the side. Seal that up. There's the key lock for the door. Nice! Alright, that door down and then I am ready to build the compound. I'm just gonna put that as a window, It'll be cheaper. That's four days of upkeep, that'll do. While building my gatehouse, I had heard lots of trees falling in the distance. I went to go investigate. Ooh, we got a farmer on our hands. Thank you very much. Oh, it's the Revy? What is this guy's aim? What is my aim? Fuck it. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck was that? Oh, come on. It's another one? Oh, he had a revolver too. What the fuck? Wait, how many? Oh, these guys live here. Oh, no. Ooh, little flick. Holy... Uh... Okay. 
I'm getting that home. 1,000 frags? We do take that, and they are my new neighbors. That's not good. Let's see if I can uh, cut them off. It's one revolver off them. Okay, so it's two. Wait, three? Four? Wait, how many is this? Hold up. Fuck! That's gotta be five people, right? Oh, this is not good, and the neighbors are coming now. Come on! Bro, oh, I don't need this from them. It appeared that another group of neighbors had moved in. With at least four players, these would be threatened. I had no choice but to strike quickly and try and take them out before it was too late. No, dude, why are the other duo trying to shoot me, man? This, I'm trying to fuck with these guys, leave me alone. My other neighbors were proving to be difficult, sabotaging me, despite just trying to get rid of the four-man near us. After killing me one more time, I decided to head over and have a chat, appealing to his best interests. Hello, hello. Uh, listen, man, that in that 2x2 two two over there is like four of them, and I want to fuck with them and get rid of them, because before long they're going to be pretty threatening. God, I would never... Oh, yo. <laughs> All I'm saying is, stop fucking with me, the solo, and right, let's try and I kill the group. I won't, I won't, I won't, yeah, I won't. get rid of them. I'm going to go get some Molotovs, and I'm going to kill them. Good, that's what I like to hear. With my neighbors no longer a problem, I headed back to the 2x2 two two to see if I could cause any more trouble. Alright, I'm just gonna try and keep killing them. Hopefully if I can kill them enough times, they might just give up and switch. God, they just don't stop coming. It's insane. Oh, thank you. Well, that's a good amount we've stolen. Now that I had poked the hornet's nest, you could say, I thought it might be a good idea to get my compound down as quickly as I could. Well, there's no way they don't try and door camp me now after I've just killed the ball like twice. Beautiful, look at that. This is gonna be a magnificent compound. Oh, is that enough space? Oh, perfect. Look at that. This is gonna need to open wide. So I've got room. What's this guy do? Oh, there's another one. What the fuck? Whew. Think fast. Fucking jump in the gatehouse, man. I mean, it worked. Okay, got the wood home. Alright, let's get these walls finished. Am I getting camps? I think I'm okay. Thank god. Wait, is this going to be three walls? Ah, oh, I think it is. Yeah, I thought I'd get that done with two, but I was wrong. Oh well, I'm just going to have to go get one more. One. Two. And then space for one more. And... There we go. And just like that, the compound was done. All I needed now was some more low grade to craft myself a refinery. I decided to grab some components too, and head to Outpost for a recycling and a refinery run. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, god. Choo choo, motherfucker. Get this crude oil done, and I'll be able to get a refinery. There we go. We're making moves, games. Get 
inside. Hey, we good. Huh? What the fuck? Wait. Oh. Oh. Um. Something tells me this guy might... Might be cheating. What the fuck, man? Why me? Oh! I almost killed him! Fuck! Hey, yo, uh, do you know where the cheetah went? Any idea? Oh, never mind, I think I found him. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, someone's trying to kill him. Oh. Look at him climbing. This guy is so weird, man. <laughs> what a bitch. Imagine being that bad. Hey, yo, buddy, if you pick that up, I kill you. So much for that. So sad that some people cheat just so they feel like they have power over other people, man. It's weird. Luckily for me, the hacker got the ban he deserved, and I got to put him in his place. I did, however, lose the low grade and the loot from the outpost run, which definitely did sting a bit. Oh, lord. There he is. That's the hacker man. Okay, now I need to get the scrap pack because I need the metal barricade. Come back, Yogi. He has way too much health. Thank you. Yeah, it's all a low grade. There we go, that's everything back. To be fair, that's pretty much everything I lost in one quick run, so... I guess it feels less bad now. Oh, I'm only four low grade away from getting my refinery, man. And there's one way I know I can get it. Although... Wait. Actually, actually. You know what, he can live, he can live. And finally, with the 250 low grade I needed, I could craft up my refinery. I barely have enough wood for that thing. Hey, there we go. Right, how much scrap do I have? Do I have 125? Bruh. What the fuck, man? One scrap away? Alright, I need one scrap. There we go. Jeez. After getting the one scrap I needed, I could finally learn the metal barricade. With this, I could seal off my compound and make sure it was safe from anyone on the outside. Beautiful placement. Oh yeah. That is satisfying. The compound is done. I'm annoyed that that foundation's there now. What the fuck? Oh my god, we've got crates. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. I get a bucket hat too. Oh, this feels good to get wood finally. Let's go. I made it back from outpost with a bunch of wood. I could now keep my furnaces running indefinitely. This would help getting the metal I needed to upgrade my base to its final form. There we go, finally got some low grade cooking. Might be able to craft some meds eventually. And Arctic suit. There we go, fuck you. Beautiful, let's go. Oh, look at that, 400 low grade. Finally got a bunch of low grade in my base. You know what, let's get the riot helmet. It's a wholesome thing. At this point in wipe, I like to take some time out and craft up a bunch of slightly cheap kits. 
This way they act as a good backup in case I die and need to quickly re-gear, with nothing too important to lose. Alright, I got the fit ready. Now, now listen, I, I, I wouldn't call this print locked, okay? I swear, I'm not. <laughs> I, please believe me, I'm not print locked. Ooh, that guy's out of his base over there. Oh, he's upgrading. Oh, if I kill him now, he could have the juice on him. Wait, he's inside. Oh, maybe he's getting stone. This could be huge. I reckon he's getting stone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Anna Thompson. That is what I'm talking about. I'm out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go. I think the lesson we learned there, everybody, is don't take all of your resources out to upgrade your base. After making it back to base with the loot I had stolen from the group, I realized I was running out of storage. It was time for some more boxes. Hey, that's not bad. Big satchel raid going on. I do want to go to that, but I need to organize. And get another garage door on here too. Clothes in here. Food, syringes, and meds in there. And uh, if you didn't know, if you're under here, you can actually shut the garage door from the lock. So, it's actually kind of a neat trick. There we go. That's as good as the storage is going to get. Tools in here. It was starting to get late into the night of wipe day, and the server was getting slightly more quiet. I thought I would use this to my advantage and run to launch site for the good crates. Not bad. Now there are signs this launch site is just so quiet. No way. Bro, that's insane! That's exactly what I needed. Right, I, I have to make it home now. Bro, this will be the time I die now with the, all of this shit. To not risk dying on my way home, I have one killed and brought my car from base. This way I could escort myself safely home. Let's go home. Did I not bring enough fuel? Motherfucker, I just- Okay, well, I guess I'm on foot. <laughs> Now I gotta run back and get my car back, bruh. I already done messed up. That is so annoying. Oh well. At least I made her home. Because that would have been very painful if I died with all that. See, now I can set up auto turrets and I'm actually super excited for that. Welcome home. While roaming the server, I heard some rockets in the distance. I took my horse and headed straight there. Ooh, this could be counterable. Hmm, maybe not, they're all on the roof. Oh my gosh, guy came out of nowhere. Oh, that was another one. Fuck, not really surprised. You know what? I might actually- Ooh. Oh, I want to go back. The raid was quite a long way from my base. Luckily, I had just the thing that could get me there in no time. This might be kind of stupid taking my car, but fuck it. Oh god, no! Why <laughs> am I so shit? Oh god! 
Bro, how to <laughs> physics? What? Let's get back down. What should we just die? After all that, I'll just get beamed. Oh, this is my stuff. Damn, man, I feel like everyone's gone. Come on. SMH. I don't know where everyone's gone. Unfortunately, by the time I'd made it back, the raid had gone quiet. I had, however, started hearing some more rockets off in the desert. I took my car and headed straight over there. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Bro, I need help. I cannot... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, this poor car is just taking a beating right now, man. Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm almost there. Smooth, smooth, really smooth. Some would say easy. Fuck you, Yogi. Get out of my way. I will never be taking this stupid car off-road ever again. What the hell? I think that base was the one getting raided. Maybe. The guy has TC. He must be the owner. Is he? I don't actually know. Wait. Is that a free tier 3? Is there a tool cupboard in here? I don't even think there is. Whoever had raided the base had left in a hurry, and left the tier 3 with no tool cupboard placed inside. While I didn't immediately know the answer, I knew there would be a way I could get that workbench. Maybe if I destroy that, I can reach it. Okay, so I have built proof here. No, dude, it's just in the building block zone. Fuck, I can feel it, man. Maybe I can place a TC in my own. Will it override it, though? See, that's the thing I don't know. Is this going to override the build priv? Let's fucking go, dude. We got the tier 3. Bro, these guys must have left in a hurry. Oh well, mine now. With the workbench level 3 secured, I rode home as quickly as I could. If I was able to learn any explosives, I would now be able to craft them in my base, making raiding a possibility. That is beautiful. I went out with nothing and came with a workbench level 3. Let's go, dude. I feel like these shotgun traps here could be kind of funny. I feel like if I'm getting online raided, it's not really what people expect. They just run past him. I get a free kill. You never know. Guess we'll see. Cowboard. Cowboard, motherfucker. With raiding now being an option on the table, I just needed some more scrap to get my hands on the explosives. There were shops on the map selling explosive ammo for quite cheap, so... All I needed was scrap from water treatment. A chair. All right, that should probably be enough. Let's get all this recycled. Beautiful, 330 scrap. The explo ammo there. With the explosive ammo bought, I learnt it right there in outpost. Nice. Alright, well, I might as well start getting sulfur cooking now I got the explo BP. Alright, I do not want to get offline raided tonight. I would be so sad. I'm just getting this whole thing to armored now. That is my goal. 
I spent the remainder of my scrap learning the auto turret. This would be crucial in protecting my compound from any unwanted visitors. I've got a coffee can too. Nice. And of course, I wasn't done with the base just yet. There was plenty more to be upgraded. No way. Fully sheet metal honeycomb, two story base. This is the chunkiest thing Wipe Day has ever seen. What the fuck? There's no way I get raided. I refuse to believe it. It would just cost too much. Alright. Look at it. It's glorious. Alright, let's get that one upgraded too. I think it's worth it. Oh yeah. We are set. Oh, that needs to go armoured. Ooh, frame drop. I just want something on the roof to stop splash. There is no such thing as too many garage doors. I want every single socket filled. By upgrading the base like this, I now had a layer of stone, a layer of sheet metal, and a layer of armored walls between the outside world and my tool cupboard. This meant, at the very minimum, a wall raid would mean at least 27 rockets before reaching my tool cupboard. With the most likely raid cost being even more expensive. Not bad for a simple solo garage design. Unironically, this is one of the strongest bases on my channel in quite a while. And it's kind of a meme one. And I love it, man. Let's go. The ramp, and there we go. It even looks kind of cute, too. I guess I could have built it with roof access, but I don't know. It's fine, it'll do. I can always add roof access at some point. Okay, get that up to stone. I think I'm just gonna seal that off for protection. I decided to add some low walls to split up the roof. This meant raiders wouldn't be able to send a few rockets and open up all of the ceilings. Besides, even if they did, it would cost at least 30 rockets just to go through the two layered of armored ceilings. And while completing some of my final upgrades for the night, I spotted a small group heading towards my base. God, I miss the old Thompson recoil, man. That's just sad. No, oh, dude, this used to be my shit. Oh, rip, Tommy. Bro, like, what? Fuck it, I want to go after these. I'm just going to push them. Dude, I can't use this thing. How? How did that not kill him? No, dude. I'm so sad. There are a lot of them. Wow. And with that, that wraps up my first day on the server. It had so far been a successful wipe, and I was looking forward to seeing what the rest of the week had in store for me. The question was, could my base survive the night? I really hope you did enjoy, if you did make sure to leave a sub, and I will see you guys in the next one. Wiljum, out.